and about how great it's going to be to see Jesus. There's people out there right now that if the trumpet was to sound, they're not going to get to spend eternity in heaven. God has put it on you and I to be a witness for him. We don't have to, we don't have to go out there. We don't have to do anything. All we have to do is go harvest what God is already making ready. But we have to be available. We have to hear his voice. We have to hear his voice. You know, some, sometimes and all too often, the enemy's voice becomes the most familiar voice in our head. We have to know who we're listening to. And to do that, we have to find time alone and to get into God's presence and to spend time with him, to get to know him, to get to know who he is and the plans that he has for us. This morning, we're going to put everything else outside. I don't know about you, but I've had a busy, busy week, a very busy week and a lot of things to think about. But this morning, we're going to put those things away. We're going to put all of our attention. We're going to focus in on him. We're going to ask the Lord to allow us into his presence this morning. And as we do that, his presence will change your life if you allow it. Amen. Lord, we come to you this morning and we just, we lift you up, God. We've come to worship you and to give you our very best. Lord, we say thank you for all that you're doing here at New Life, God, for the many blessings. God, thank you for those that are willing to serve and, and just be a part of your kingdom work. Lord, this morning we ask that you allow us into your presence, God, that we can just come under that covering, Lord. This morning maybe somebody's here and, and they've never experienced that, but this morning they would experience the love that you have for them. Lord, we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's worship together. From the highest throne to the earth below, you lay down your life for the likes of us. Great is the love of the Savior. From the wounded heart to the life made whole, every human heart will take their as one.
tried to take my place It's the moment that you made me clean and part of my soul
has transformed into a sanctuary of faith where faith carries the day. Just reach out in faith, believe in Jesus right now. Reach out to God right now. As we prepare to sing our last song of worship and praise, God, we just open up our hearts to you. That our heart's desire would be to seek you and you alone. To seek all your kingdom, all your righteousness. And then we can just simply trust you to take care of all the other needs. I thank you, Lord, for this place you brought us to for this time, this opportunity we have to call on your name. And I pray for those that are weak in faith. I pray for those that are being attacked and afflicted. I pray for those that have been sick. And I pray for those that are facing challenges in life. And I ask that today, Lord, one more time, you prove yourself real in all of your glory, your healing, your health. Mighty miracles of Jesus Christ be manifest. And most of all, Lord, make sure we're all ready to make heaven a home. When the trump of God sounds. We invite you into this place, into our hearts. Have your way, Lord. We praise you right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We have come to worship the Lord. Yes. We have come to worship the Lord. Oh, 
It's a joy to enter into the sanctuary of God and worship and praise. Can you say amen? Amen and amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Ellen Curry is coming to give a testimony at my request. Thank you, choir, for anointed singing, high worship and praise. Several of the ladies of this church were at the Joyce Myers Conference this week, and they probably are a little hoarse after singing and worshiping and shouting for Jesus, but I'll ask Ellen and some others this morning to come and share for Jesus. Thank you. May the words of my heart and the meditations of, may the meditations of my heart and the words of my mouth be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. We were so blessed to get to go to the Joyce Myers conference. Uh, Tammy sent me a text, <laughs> and I hadn't even thought about going. And as soon as she sent me that text, my heart just leapt and said, yes, I'm going to go. Of course, I, God's going to make time. I don't have the time, but God's going to make the time. And so we went, and it was just purely a blessing because Joyce and everyone there just brought this message of hope and encouragement <laughs> through the word, the word, the word, the word, the word. That was the message through every one of the uh, five sessions that we were so blessed to be part of. Um, and, and the message to me was that this living and powerful word, which is Jesus Christ, who lives in every single one of us who has opened our heart to him and received him as our Savior, he wants to come and speak to us as we read these pages. And it's wonderful when we use the ministry tools of someone like Joyce Meyer and so many others. I read Oswald Chambers. Um, there's so many others. You could just go on and on with all the people who have studied his word and, and he has spoke to them, and then they've written it down for us. But here's the deal. This word is available to each one of us. It is living and powerful, and he has got something very real, very specific, very personal to each one of us to reveal through the words of this book. And we must study we must dig in. We must hear what he has to say. We must receive it and love it, and then we must obey it. And uh, in obedience to his word, um, Tammy made Tammy mentions not Tammy uh, Missy mentions something um, when we were in the car traveling back and forth and forth and back um, that. We'd like to get together and have a Bible study. And so I'm opening my home this Thursday evening, 7 o'clock. Anybody who wants to come and study the Word. Um, I, don't, I hope it doesn't interfere with anything else we have on our agenda. Uh, but anybody, I'm going to be available. If anybody wants to come, come. <laughs> come and study the Word with me. Um, and we'll just take it from there. I just don't want this to be a I'm a gonna kind of thing. <laughs> I want this to be something that, because my heart leapt again when Missy said, we need to get together and really study the word. Um, I, I want to act on that. I want to say, yes, yes, let's get together. And I'm studying right now in um, Psalm 119. There's so many riches in their treasures, nourishment, uh, encouragement, solutions. Everything that we need is in this word, and um, I just hope that you can catch a little bit of the encouragement that I received by going to this and hearing the word preached, the word in message, the word written the word just 
spread all over us. Um, I hope that it will encourage each one of you, whether you come to my house or not, that's irrelevant. Read his word, soak in his word. Let Jesus Christ come and live through you because his word has been planted in your heart. In Jesus Christ, amen. When we are inspired by the word of God and we get into that word, we're going to find a liberty and a life, amen, and the truth shall set you free. Thank you, Ellen. For, and I pray the, the anointing does rub off on us. We've got uh, Bree Hammonds with us from Lee University, and she's down in Cleveland, Tennessee, and I call that little Mecca. I say, rub that anointing off on me, Bree, because you've been in an anointed place, and uh, we're looking forward to what God's doing in our lives and in our midst today, amen. Thank you uh, for your worship today.